So today the Colts beat the Patriots, 27-17. I was surprised. I thought the Patriots were going to win. Carson Wentz didn't really do anything. He only had like 59 yards, and Jonathan Taylor really carried the majority of the load the whole game. And he has to be in your MVP conversation right now. I think he's probably third behind Rodgers and Brady, in my opinion. He had 170 yards and one touchdown. In my opinion, if Derrick Henry wouldn't have got injured, he would have been number one right now. MVP season, running back Jonathan Taylor, 270 attempts, 1,518 yards, and 17 touchdowns. First in every category for running back, which is honestly insane. And he's going to be rushing King this year as well with rushing touchdowns. 17 is very impressive in my opinion. I don't think he's going to break the record, but he's going to come pretty close. Stephon Diggs has his 10th interception, four away from tying the NFL record, which in my opinion, if he gets the interception record, he's going to have to get Defensive Player of the Year unless they break, unless TJ Watt or Miles Garrett breaks Strahan's record, which if both of them end up breaking each record, I think I'd have to give it the interception record just because of how hard it is to break. Not even Deion Sanders broke the record in a single season. It's very hard. Last time it was broken was by Dick Knight Train Lane. And that was in the 1960s or 1950s. So if he gets this record, I think he would have to give him Defensive Player of the Year. Detroit Lions beat the Arizona Cardinals 30-12. to I was honestly surprised. Jared Goff had 216 yards. He also had a great completion percentage of 21 out of 26 attempts, which is honestly insane. He only had five missed throws, which really surprised me. He played great, and I think maybe it had something to do with the offensive line. It seemed like he had a lot of time and patience of really beating the, the Arizona Cardinals, so... Adding Panay Sewell to the team was honestly a great addition for the Lions in timing. I feel like the next pick they need to get is probably a wide receiver or a trade for a wide receiver. DeAndre Swift has been playing great this year. They don't really need anyone at running back. They need another wide receiver. TJ Watt actually broke the Steelers' single-season franchise record for sacks with 17.0. The previous holder was James Harrison, and he had 16, which, in my opinion, I think TJ Watt has a very good chance of breaking mass. Michael Strahan's record. 22.5 or 22 and a half and I think it will be him or Miles Garrett but I think TJ Watt will actually break it what do you guys think about this and who do you guys think is going to break the record the Buccaneers play the Saints on Sunday Night Football I think the Buccaneers are going to win I think the final score is going to be 35 to 21 I think for most of the nights to be close but then Brady's going to have a very good game and prove why he's the MVP